Recently, I put out a post saying, would you guys like to see how I edit my audio and make it sound nice and crispy? A lot of you responded with a yes, a few of you said no, and a few of you said to stick to normal uploads, and that's completely fine. So for this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn your audio from sounding like this to sounding like this. Now, the most important thing of making your video and audio sound really good is to make sure the placement of your microphone is in a good position. Because if you're talking from here, let's say, for example, it will sound off. And if you're talking from here, different angles changes the audio. Preferably, you want to have this bit right here to be facing you directly. And that is how you get the good audio, especially if you're using this microphone right here, which is the Blue Yeti. This microphone is great, but it has some weak spots where the audio sounds very muffled and very weird. You'll find the right angle. So just make sure you get yourself a good placement. If you wanted to, you can get yourself a arm stand, for example, this thing right here, and then just clip it onto your desk. That is another advantage as well of having this thing is that if you have it on your desk, every little movement it'll pick up that is something i've learned myself i've definitely moved on from that one so i don't want to do that one again now once i've done recording my video what i first of all do is i put it into vix pro and what i do is i click on the top one press u and then i delete the video layer so then i only have the audio layer and once i've got that i just double click in the empty area to create a loop region and then once i've done that I go to render. If you're someone who records your voice and music at the same time, this is gonna be more difficult to separate the audio from the music. So that's why it's a lot easier to try your best to separate your audio. I know OBS has an option for that. So if you wanted to, you can separate your audio. So then you can actually edit which one it is. Now, since I don't record any gameplay or anything, it's just my audio. All I have to do is separate it from the video and then I render it, give it a name. So I normally call it, and then I go ahead and select the MP3 audio. If you like to see a video on how to render audio, I have a video on my channel. There'll be a link in the description or at the top. I'm gonna choose this template and then go ahead and press render. So once it's fully rendered out, you have your audio on its own. And now we can move on to the next step, which is to use a audio editor. I know you can do it in Vegas Pro, but personally, I've always gotten used to using Audacity. And Audacity is absolutely amazing for audio. It's very simple and basic, and you can get your head around it, but it also gives you that good result. And it is free as well, so you could just download it. You don't have to pay for it or anything like that. So once you've got yourself the audio and you've opened up Audacity, you just want to left click and drag this into the open area to load it up. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to look through your audio and look at an area where there is silence or there isn't much activity going on. So for example, this bit right here, that's a good area. This one right here, or we can use this bit right here. So select one of them and all you gotta do is left click and drag it out to highlight this area and select it. And once you've got it selected, if we play this, you can hear the fan of my laptop in the background and that is what we don't want. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up to effect, go down to noise reduction, and then in here you want to get yourself the first step which is get noise profile. So if you click this button, this will take a sample of that area and now you can go ahead and press control and A to select it all or you can double click and then go back to the effect, go down to noise reduction and then you wanna set it to 12, six, three, and then reduce, and then go ahead and press OK. This will start to remove the noise. And if you preview this, you can now see that there is no noise in the background. And that is great, but the next step is to make this a lot louder because at the moment it is really quiet, and that is why we recorded the audio much quieter so it picks up less noise. But we also need the audio now to be more louder. And to do that, all you gotta do is Press Ctrl and A again to select all or double click and then go to effect. Get yourself the compressor. This is the second thing that you want to do. The compressor will pretty much make the audio louder and same as last time, copy my settings. So minus 12, minus 40, two by one, 0 0.20 seconds, one second, and then make sure that this one is ticked. And then go ahead and press okay. 
and then this will raise the audio. The only problem with this is that if we preview the empty area, the noise has come back. So it has lifted it slightly and we've also got these spikes which we have to deal with. If you're happy with it, then you can move on to the next thing. But if you want to, you can do what I do and that is I do the same step as before. So go back to the noise reduction, get noise profile and then control and eight, select it all back to noise reduction and then do it one more time just to be on the safe side and not to have any background noise whatsoever. But you want to be careful with this because if you do it too many times, it will ruin your audio and it will sound very low quality. So just be careful, always preview and listen back to your audio. And if you want to, you can press control on A and then go to the effect, go down to bass and treble, get yourself a bass of three, leave the treble on zero, volume on zero, make sure everything is the same as me and then press apply. And this will pretty much just give the audio some bass. So now that we've got the audio louder, we've added the bass, but as you can see, we have these loud areas which are really horrible, especially for the viewers. We don't want to hear the ears. So what we can do is we can press Control and 8 to select it all, and then go back to the effect. And the very last effect that we're gonna get is the one that will say limiter, which is right at the bottom. And for the limiter, you wanna set it on minus three, leave the hold on 10, and just have the same settings as me, and then press OK. And if you look at this, you'll notice that these lines are now gone. So it pretty much trims them down. And pretty much once you're happy with everything, you can then go ahead and press Control and A to select it one more time. And then now you are ready to export it. So if you go to File, go down to Save, Other, and then in here, save it as a WAV. Now you want to make sure that the type is on WAV, Microsoft, 16-bit, PCM. And then what I normally do with my audio is I type in HD at the end of it so I know which one's which. So we're gonna press save and then save it. If you want to go back to the audio and re-edit it, then you would go to file and then you would save project as, and then this will let you re-edit the things that you created. And then finally, once I've got everything ready, I can go back into Vegas Pro, load up the video. And then once the video has loaded up, I can press U to separate them. And then I pretty much delete the one underneath it get the new audio and drag this one underneath it and it will line up with the older one, as you can see. Click on the top one, hold shift, click on the bottom one and then press G to group them up so they are one together. And that is pretty much it. That's how I edit my audio to sound really good and clear.